This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. It's Thursday, September 1st, about 1.30 in the afternoon. It's about 102 and it's about 30% humidity. Uh, it's going to rain really hard tonight, even though it's sunny. Uh, three hours from now we will have big rain. Anyway, this is a 2004 Sierra, GMC Sierra 2500. It's a three-quarter ton, four-wheel drive, quadra steer. The rear wheels turn if you want them to. You can set them at, at, to be straight or you can uh, have them turn with you. Great for towing. Um, the reason they discontinued according to the GMC uh, people I called is uh, it just added way too much money to the price of the car, the truck, and uh, people weren't willing to pay eight or nine or ten thousand dollars more for rear wheels that turn about, I don't know, like ten degrees. Um, boy, it sure is nice in a parking lot. I've already tried it out. It's cool. And it works perfectly. Let's see. There are your tires. Your tires are beautiful, man. They're about, they're probably 80, 90 percent tread. This vehicle, we usually deal in uh, theft recoveries. This vehicle was an other for total. And it, what, the, what happened was the uh, owner of the vehicle left a can of uh, that foam uh, that expands in walls to fill voids, that gunky gold tannish looking stuff on a seat and it exploded on the passenger seat. And the insurance company was going to need to, to make him perfect, they were going to have to replace the entire dash the headliner, both front seats, probably the rear seats, pretty much the entire interior, the carpet, everything. Um, which, of course, at their price and dealer prices would have been, you know, 15 grand. Um, so we bought it and we sent the passenger front seat out, which was by far the worst, had it uh, de glued, and then they dyed it as best they can. And then I had my uh, interior expert come in and he uh, did as much dyeing and chipping and carpet repair as he could possibly do and it came out pretty good. Um, all the tires around this truck look like about that. It's also got a nice spare, a uh, brand new spare in there. Um, so anyway, it's one of the weirdest totals I've ever seen but that's why and when you do the math at the dealer, that makes good sense because that's a lot of money to replace that stuff. Um, and time, the labor, God, taking that dash apart would be a nightmare. So, basically he got a gigantic check and we got a really cool truck um, that we cleaned up. I think we probably got 97% of it. Um, I'm sure he would buy it back in a heartbeat if he could have it. Uh, there's your back seat. There's your car. The back seat got just a little bit on the on the front of the seat, but nothing really on the on the seat cushion. There's a little bit right there on the headliner. Not a whole lot though. Um, this door panel was fine. That door panel had a little bit. Um, I took a million pictures. Let me put my sign in the back seat real quick. I took a million pictures for everybody to see. Um, so that you know you know what you're buying but honestly I've had a lot of vehicles that haven't had glue blow up in them that don't look as good as this one so this is uh there's your VIN right there it's a beautiful running truck um the driver's seat didn't get hardly anything on it I think it's got a little bit I saw uh, right right there on the other side of the armrest right here It's really hot and the air is blowing ice cold in here. Let's see. Let's run through this real quick here. Um, things like the radio isn't working. Uh, it, we've got a display, but it's not working. But we also have plugged into the back of it an iPod. So I'm thinking that maybe it's muted. And we didn't really have time to deal with it. But the speakers are there and that's plugged into it. So I'm guessing that's probably the issue, but I'm not guaranteeing it. You can buy one of these stereos for hardly anything. Um, it does have, see that the glue sprayed in here? Uh, yeah, it's got a little bit right there. I see a little bit right here on the dash. But we got, we got like, God, it looks so good uh, now um, compared to what it did look like. 
Anyway, let me get you to the miles. There's your miles, 125,300 miles. It's been running for about four hours. Um, we let it run forever just to make sure that we don't have any overheating or leaking or anything. And it's just been sitting there forever. Perfect. Um, there's your four wheel drive. Let me put it in four high. I'll put it in drive. We go forward. We go backwards. Yep, that works. We put it in four low. We put it in drive. We go forward. Oh, yeah, that's definite torque. That is definitely four low. We put it in reverse. Yep, that's four low in reverse. La, 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 la. Put it in auto four wheel drive. Put it in drive. We like to go through all this on video so that you know that it is happening. That's reverse, perfect. All right, back to two wheel drive. Let's see, we have tilt wheel. We have cruise control. We have your toe on and off. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, let's see if I can videotape the wheels turning. Let me put it in the. Uh, hold on one second. Let me put it into four. And it's in the, the rear wheels turn. And see that? How cool is that, everybody? That is really. <laughs> How cool is that? All right, back to and there you go. All right, let me roll up this window here. Put on a seatbelt. Take on a quick ride down the street. Anyway, it's got a uh, it's got OnStar in it. That's how long we've been sitting on the pavement. It's reading 124 degrees. It's really only about 103, but we're on this gigantic piece of black top and uh, our usual space next to the ball field was taken by a bunch of people who weren't working who work for the city who were just hanging out like hanging out which is why our roads look kind of like that because nobody's actually working anyway this is a really nice truck um, very rare I mean gosh maybe one out of a hundred vehicles we buy is not a theft recovery this is, when this guy had this stolen, he took great care of this truck. That stupid can or whatever blew up in the seat. And honestly, you know, you could, you could probably spend another hour just kind of detailing it and then replace that radio and you would probably, I, I'm sure you would never know. Um, and the radio may work if you take that plug out, that iPod plug out. Um, anyhow, uh, nice truck. What a great tow vehicle for a small or medium sized trailer or boat or even a big boat i mean guys it's a six it's a six oh motor in this thing so i'm sure that uh it could pull anyway there you go this truck is uh ready to pull and tow and do incredible circles in the uh parking lot that will be death defying and amazing to your neighbors um, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Thanks for watching. Please bid early and often. This is uh, kind of a rare one, and I have a feeling it's going to go quickly. Thank you.